Hello and welcome to the review of Nidhogg 2. Before we get started, I'd like to take a moment and give a little background on the first game so we can see the differences from how it's evolved. So originally the first game was very pixelated, but it was a fun feature to have that you had two people with each having their own sword and you'd have to get from one side to the other and just literally just try to stab the other one so you could proceed. Now the nice thing about the pixelation was that the amount of blood that would pop out when you were actually doing this went from being gruesome to just very entertaining to see these people kind of just explode on the screen. And the main premise of the game is literally get the ability to cross the other side and get to the finish line and you just have to go through your opponent, whether it was online or a friend or anything like that. Now with the second game, it is a lot different where it's no longer pixelated. You actually have cartoon animated characters and you actually have extra weapons that you can use so that when you go through the arcade mode, you can actually pick from a fencing sword like the original game and a variety of other weapons which we will be going through. Now as you can see the blood and guts is a little bit more aggressive on this one which kind of adds to the magic of Nidhogg. You get to literally kind of torture your friends while you eviscerate their body and leave a pool of blood showing that they have been destroyed. As for the new weapons, originally you started with a fencing sword, now you can actually have a regular sword where you can swipe up, down, and even knock the sword out of people's hands and make it a lot more interesting when you impale them in the head. Now one of the nice things when you can mix and match weapons is that you can actually use them to outmaneuver the other person or just stomp their brains in if you so feel like it. And also one of the things that's very useful in this one that has evolved since the last game is you can actually use the terrain to hurt people such as letting them fall into a grinder or just using the terrain to outmaneuver them and yet again smash them in the head. Now before we saw the sword now we can actually use daggers which daggers are definitely a lot better for just throwing you can stab as you can see but it's kind of harder the addition of bow and arrow it makes things interesting because you can put a bit of a range and as you notice you could actually deflect the arrows with other arrows or even swords daggers and fencing swords which can be very interesting and make for a long long match. Now as you progress through the game, rather than being restricted to one weapon for your killing spree, it actually allows you to rotate between different weapons on random or you can just pick up the weapons of your former opponent. Now after whether it's five minutes or an hour of fighting back and forth to try to get the bars at the top to fully show yours to get to the other side to actually get to the finish line, such as you can see there, you are rewarded with a nice... oh, I guess you are rewarded with being eaten by a worm. Why you would fight for that? Who knows, but it's very entertaining. Now with the new edition of Nidhogg, you can actually customize your character by changing their hairstyle, their weapons, their glasses, shirts, shoes, pants, you can actually customize everything and also customize the weapons for online or local matches such as boomerang effect, spine, swords, low gravity, and a variety of so many other things. I personally like two features to be enabled when I'm doing a local or online match such as low gravity or boomerang. Low gravity will allow you to jump and float longer which can make fighting and kills a lot more interesting. And as for boomerang, if you're not careful, it can definitely come back and hit you in the face. All in all, I think this is an amazing game if you're just bored and feel like taking your frustrations out on a random person online or just a good local gameplay with your friends and just sitting on the couch and see who can stabby stabby. 
This has been Stephen Reyes with Gaming Cipher. Thank you for watching.